weekend, the pet sink in the Midlands hit full capacity after taking in 70 displaced pets. We had to evacuate. There was a Hurricane Matthew coming. The All for Paws Animal Rescue Shelter on Polly's Island knew they had to take action quickly to save the lives of their animals. We started panicking about getting out of town and um, our evacuation plan, we had a, you know, the cargo vans rented and we were ready to go and they said we will open our doors to you and we were, they were so welcoming and so, you know, great while we were here. But getting 70 animals from the coast to the Midlands couldn't be done without the help of volunteers. Like Lewis Emmett, who drove over three hours in a van to get the animals to safety. As long as there's dogs to be transported, I'll be transporting. Petsang filled up every empty crate, making room for as many dogs as they could. And they decided to keep 14 of the displaced dogs here in the Midlands to allow all for paws to make room for other animals. After being here for four days, today they're making the drive back to Polly's Island. And even though some of those puppies were able to go back home to Polly's Island, a lot of these puppies still don't have a home here in Columbia. Pet Sink is a no-kill shelter, which means they will foster animals no matter how old they get. We've had animals here as many as 400, 500 days at a time that we eventually find them homes. And until every dog has a home, volunteers will always be ready to help. I figure when I go to heaven, I'm going to the kennels, so. <laughs> and shelters will always be ready to lend a helping hand. Laura Arat, Carolina News.